Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar here. Today we are going to look at an arithmetic question. So you can pause the video and let's say try the question for a minute or two and then let's say resume the video. So in this question basically it is given that in a race of three horses, the first one beat the second one by 11 meters and the third one by 90 meters. If the second one beat the third one by a distance of 80 meter, find out the length of the race in terms of meter. So we don't know the length of the race over here. Suppose if I look at one of the methods to solve this particular question. Suppose if I say A is the first horse, B is the second, C being the third one. So when A complete the race, let me assume that X denote the length of the race. So moment suppose X finish complete the race, in that particular case B is 11 meters behind the finishing line. That means in the same time B has covered a distance of X minus 11. And can we say that C basically was 90 meter behind the finishing line and hence in the same time C must have covered a X minus 90. So if someone asks you what is the speed ratio of A, B and C, since the time taken is constant, so one can say the ratio of the distance must imply ratio of their speed. So speed ratio of A, B and C should be nothing but X is to X minus 11 is to X minus 90. In the second scenario, it is given that second horse beat the third one by a distance of 80 meter. This simply means that when second horse has covered a distance of X, in the same time C has covered a distance of X minus 80. So now to find out the value of X over here, what we can do is we can let's say find out the speed ratio of B and C from case number 1 and case number 2. So speed ratio of B and C must be nothing but x minus 11 upon x minus 90 and this must be equal to uh, x upon x minus 80. Let's cross multiply now. You will get x square minus 90x equals to x square minus 91x plus 880. x square get cancelled out. So one will get nothing but x is equals to a 880. So since x was taken as the length of the race and that was supposed to be answered, so my answer for this particular question will be 880. Let us now look at another way to solve this particular question without taking any variable into account. So in the second method, suppose if you try to visualize, when A complete the race, B was 11 behind and C basically was 90 meters behind A. So in the second part, what is going to happen is when B reaches over here, the finishing line, at that point one can say C is over here. So understand B green color implies basically the second situation when B complete the race. So let's understand one thing. In the time B has covered this 11, in the same time how much C has covered? To so understand since B defeats C by a length of 80 meter, can we say that this distance has to be 10? So when B has covered this 11, C has covered the distance of 10. So speed ratio of B and C must be 11 is to 10. Now what about the winning margin? If you look at in this particular case when B covers a 11, C covers a 10. So if the distance is of 11 meter, the winning margin must be of 1 meter. But what do we want? We want the winning margin to be of 80 meter. So how can a 1 will become 80? So if you multiply the ratio by 80 here, 1 gets 880 and you get a 800. And one can see here that the B has defeated C by a length of 80 meters. So this way you don't need to even take any variable into account. So now try a similar question and maybe try the second approach to solve that particular question and kindly put your answer in the comment section.